Good morning, you wonderful people. I was just about to do that on here. Yeah, I did it on here anyways. <laughs> it is day number Tuesday. I don't remember what day it is, but it's there, Tuesday. Honestly. And uh, we're in Cozumel, and there are like three or four other ships that are going to be in port here today. Mm -hmm. um, so Taylor's not getting off the ship. I'm getting off the oh, ship. Gosh. But we're going to head upstairs and uh, get started with the day. All right, so we're back. Well, I'm back on the ship. Taylor's been, been on the ship. Taylor's been on the ship. And we're hanging out up on the adult area, uh, the pool deck. So we're waiting our turn to get into the hot tub, even though it's pretty warm out already. But, it is. Um, I might get back in the regular pool instead. Yeah, we can get back to the regular pool for sure. So today is just, uh, even though we're in Cozumel, we don't have, a, like we said, we don't have any port adventures. So we're just kind of hanging out you know and just doing whatever. Do. What? Aquadabs. Oh, we could go jump on the aquadabs. Might be busy. But. The best days to do it are four days. True. As a reminder, today's. So it's super windy, I know, but it's actually close. There's no water going through the tubes. Another time. Come back, I guess. Spent some time in the pool. I mean, the, hot the hot tub. tub. I may have had one too many hurricanes this morning. Hanging out in Margaritaville. I gotta take home uh, Pilsner. Hurricane. A little concerned of the straw, but whatever. Don't tell Taylor, she might be a little jealous. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna head over to the actual pool. We, after a long nap, <laughs> We're heading to the atrium because there should be some characters. Should be. <gasps> what? Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get a bow there. Oh yes, we are getting a photo shoot here. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> that was perfect. Wow. Oh boy. <laughs> I would not have gotten that out of that. <laughs> I have no idea. Who knows oh what's my gosh. Go. I'll take your photo. I didn't even take pictures of just them. Oh boy. <laughs> and believe it or not, I guess this is the first time we've been back here. I know, I'm like shocked we haven't been back here earlier. Oh, I wanna sit in our booth. Okay, did everything I was supposed to do. <laughs> Maybe it's my new Fitbit that is counting my steps and it's making me weird, weird things. This is pretty okay, depressing. We did really bad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I never really like to play trivia because I can never come up with stuff on the spot. Which is so funny because Josh literally knows all the stuff that was in those questions, but he couldn't think of it in a couple seconds. <laughs> Ah, all right, so we made it back to the room, and uh, it's been a slightly uneventful day, I suppose. We were in the Whoa, pool. Whoa, that is like really That's a little crooked. crooked. I'll fix it in post. <laughs> um, we were in the pool for a little while. I don't think we got any video while we were down there. You know, we hung in the hot tub, which was kind of nice. It's really warm outside, but uh, then we went, came back, took a nap, went to trivia, and we got so, of the characters. so something we do have a change. We are going to go to Palo again tonight for dinner, but because of some of the changes that they have made, we've decided that we're not going to do that. So we're going to go back to the regular dining room, which is Royal Court. Royal Court tonight. We've it's already like been Captain's there. Gala. And we've already been there. So we that don't first night. So we don't necessarily need to do a dining review. No, we will. Oh. Because it's Captain's Gala night. Okay. So it's a different. I night. read this wrong, and it's theme park trivia. 
So that's very broad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do we got? We did Marvel trivia earlier and did horrible. So. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I wish. <laughs> we made it to the tube and we are here for theme park trivia. Which in my mind, I'm thinking, well, Disney World theme parks. And then I get here and I'm like, oh wait, hold on a second. This could mean any Disney theme park worldwide. Oh, I most definitely know that it will be. So I already know we're gonna lose. So, I mean, unless these happen to be like really easy questions that nobody else knows, but that's not gonna be the case. Well, that Nikki did a time phone, huh? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, boy, who's here? Our host today has never been to the theme parks, so okay, she doesn't even know what she's asking seven. these questions. It's pretty hilarious. So far? Okay. Did you win? No. We yeah, got 21 out of 25, but we didn't We're win. We're gonna start. As I know there's people that Give me if you got one. Woo hoo hoo! We include everyone. All right, so we're starting off the day as we do any other day, which is uh, <laughs> walking down the hall. Walking down the hallway, <laughs> and we're heading to um, breakfast because we're not supposed to have to meet up until about nine o'clock for our excursion today, which is in the Walt Disney Theater. So, so here's a quick look at the port. This is uh, really the first time that we're seeing it. Is the same time that you're seeing it. All right, so we have made it out of the ship and we're walking down the walking down the dock here and uh, heading onto like the mainland. It's actually kind of a far walk uh, all the way down here to, I'm assuming where, the, where we're gonna catch the, the bus. bus. <laughs> but uh, apparently they were saying there's like a lot of people doing this tour today. So yeah. we've kind of all gotten broken up. So whenever you go check in for your excursion, you check on the Navigator app, and we, our check-in place was at the Walt Disney Theater on deck three. So we showed up there, they gave us a little waiver to fill out if you didn't already have it done. And then you tap your room key to officially check in, and then they go, they give you a little sticker, and that's what group you're in. Yeah, mine's gonna come we're, off. We're Simba. And then you make sure you stay with your group because there are multiple tours that meet in the same place. So we're the Simba group today for, is it Chichibon? Is that what she said? It's a Maya ruins tour. So we have officially made it to our destination and Captain. starting our tour. Yeah. We learned how to say it properly on the bus. <laughs> so uh, to get here, we actually had... Um, about an hour. It, it, yeah, it was about an hour bus ride. It was probably about an hour bus ride. I left the gimbal on the bus, so you can leave everything that you don't want to bring on the bus. It's yep. the same bus we're going to take back. But um, with like what they were talking about with like tripods, you can't bring tripods in. And, you have to have special permission or something. Uh, and apparently you can also fly a drone, but you have to have a, a special permission from the Mexican government. It takes a week to get, um, but it's not very hard to get. And I didn't know that, but, <sighs> but I left the gimbal. Lens, I left the gimbal just in case. But anyways, yeah, so we're at uh, Chachoban. Uh, no, Chachoban. Chachoban. Josh Chachoban. is not good with anything Ch other than English. Chachoban. So. I'm terrible about it. But anyways, we're here. So these are, I think we're going to see two um, mine pyramids today. What's really cool about the bus right now, which is there's not really a lot to see. Um, it is super, super flat, flat here. So the roads straight. are very, very straight. So there's not a lot of turning going on. And there's not a lot to see because it's not a touristy uh, area here in Costa Maya. But what was really great was that we were getting some really great information um, kind of about... The local area um, which was also kind of sad but it was really interesting to learn about so uh kind of sad. but we're here chak choban chak choban chak choban um and we're gonna see two mayan no, chak choban 
and well, I'll get it one of these times. Um, but we're gonna see some of the pyramids, which is really cool. Super cool. So we just uh, learned that like this is also a pyramid, but it's been covered up with, uh, you know, plants and trees because it just, nobody knew. This is really cool. <laughs> really cool about this tour. We didn't really know what to expect other than we were gonna see some of the, uh, kind of like the ruins, the temples. But this one behind us is the astrology one. And then the one that we came up to first over on the other side was um, a uh, religious, more religious-like temple. So um, they're, they're very different, but also kind of like similar in that they're temples, but it's just really cool. I mean, it's amazing to see that this stuff has kind of been here. Now, what we did learn was that this is not actually what it would have looked like back in the day. They actually created their own stucco, covered all the rocks up. So it was almost like a flat, smooth surface, and then they would paint them. Um, and they said that they were actually painted mostly red, I believe, which is um, really interesting. I mean, just that, something like this has survived for as long as it has. And um, our tour guide was telling us that in those areas where we've seen a lot of the temples that are overgrown, that's what a lot of these kind of look like. Um, just because whenever the mine uh, civilization kind of fell, this stuff kind of got thrown aside by the wayside. But they discovered all of this really with um, aerial photography and LIDAR for the most part. So pretty cool, most of the stuff is LiDAR is just uh, a means of being able to see if there's something under the ground or inside of like rock surfaces, um, normally done from air as well. But uh, just really cool that a lot of this stuff has only recently really been kind of rediscovered and fixed by archeologists. So um, a really cool tour. If you guys are coming to Costa Maya, I would highly recommend that you do this because it's just really cool cultural, something different to experience and see. So in addition to seeing all these pyramids today and the archaeological sites, which has been really awesome, we just saw two spider monkeys up in a tree, a mom and a baby. It was so cute. It was really awesome. I was not expecting that. I saw all these people looking up at this tree. I'm like, oh, there must be a cool bird up there. Nope, monkeys. <laughs> but we are just about done on the tour. We're heading back out to like the ticketing booth area where the buses are parked. We're gonna look around the gift shop a little bit and then head back. So this has been a really cool tour. I'm glad we did this today. We almost didn't do it, but we did. Pick it up. <laughs> so we came the whole way to Costa Maya and ran into my aunt and uncle. They're on the ship that is also docked right next to us. How hilarious. But now we have to leave because we have to get back on the ship. Bye. Goodbye. Bye guys. <laughs> All right, so we just finished eating and um, we are trying to head on outside to get a spot for the fireworks because believe it or not with Disney, even though right now you can go to Walt Disney World and stand shoulder to shoulder <laughs> with everybody, on the cruise line, you cannot do that. Um, they actually are physically spacing everybody out, even if you're outside for these events. So, you know, is what it is, um, take it for what it is, but we're gonna try to go up top and see if we can get a spot up there. Hi. So uh, we're trying to find a good spot to stand. We don't really know what's gonna be a good spot. But essentially what you don't want is to be standing right underneath the fireworks. And it looks like they're gonna be launching from back here. So I was thinking maybe like, like this one. So this is what we're going to go with. 
Good thing, I think the mic's been on the right settings. Hopefully you guys have been able to hear us because I don't have my actual mic on. But <laughs> um, yeah, so this is also a little bit different because in the past, yeah. when we've watched this for Pirate Night, now that was a long time ago. It's been four years. We would be facing Funnel Vision and they would be shooting off on the right side of Funnel Vision. And usually- uh, Jack. Jack's over there. I think that's how it was. I feel like that's I'm what it was. No, we would be watching, sure. right? Yeah. We normally yeah. were like right up there. We would normally stand along the yeah. rail and watch out. But basically Jack would be over there and I have the old footage and he sticks his arm out because he's got a gauntlet on, not with infinity stones, and shoots a fire. <laughs> it shoots, was before that. Basically like shoots a Roman candle out of his hand and there goes the fireworks. So usually it's off that side. Yeah. Um, it might also depend on the direction the wind's blowing. So I don't know. But we've got a spot and we're going to watch the fireworks. All right, so I know it's probably gonna be a little loud, but see, this is a blue circle. So basically on the deck, we've got blue circles everywhere. If there's a blue circle, you can stand there. Technically, if there's no blue circle, nobody should be able to stand between us and whoever's on that blue circle. I don't know how well Disney's gonna be like managing that tonight, but we will see. A lot of people are all lined up on the other side. That might be a better place to watch. You'll get an obstruction from the tube, but we'll see. Something that I love about cruising, and I think you may have just been able to see it, is getting to see these storms develop just way off out in the distance. And it is actually, um, for as bright as it actually looks on the screen right now, it's actually really dark. We actually just got to watch, uh, well, we didn't get to watch it, but the sun just set out there in the distance, which is really cool. And I'm always amazed at how well this A7S III shoots in the dark because what I see on the screen is not what I see with my own eyes, which is so incredibly crazy. But there's an amazing storm out here in the distance. All right, so we're back up onto the top deck. That storm is just ripping out there. Look, look at how, like, okay, so here, like, let me show you Taylor. If you look over here, it's like super dark. Just watch the power of this camera, it's amazing. I go like this. Look at how bright, like it looks like, it's having a hard time focus, but it's amazing. I just love it. I, it's amazing how well this thing does. It literally looks like there's still light out there. So right now we are waiting for the show to start. And as part of that, they've got like uh, just some kind of Star Wars music playing overhead and um, some stuff going up on the funnel vision. Nothing really in particular that you need to see. Uh, but it is kind of funny though because nobody really wants to leave their blue spot in case somebody kind of swoops in and takes it. So Taylor's kind of moving about and taking a few photos here and there. But I have seen like one or two cast members just kind of um, hanging out and uh, directing people to a blue spot. So I kind of wonder if they're going to be kind of like patrolling and making sure everybody's standing on a blue spot uh, as the show gets started. I'm gonna try and keep the wind from hitting us too much here, but. So once again, they have covered the entire pool deck here so that people can uh, kind of walk around. You can see all the blue spots down there. Those are all places where families can stand um, down below. You can see there's not a ton of people. And the reason is, is because they are actually doing two different fireworks showings tonight. So if you eat early dining, which we did um, at 545, then you are the first ones to watch the fireworks. And then late dinner is going to watch them at 1030. So, um, which is kind of cool and kind of nice that they're doing two different viewings for everybody so that not everybody has to be crowded and spaced up here or crowded up here and instead they're all spaced out. So I'm gonna go back to my blue spot. All right, y'all, that is going to complete our day, which was, uh, uh, it feels like now that I'm looking back on it, it feels like a long day of like many days. Which... It was a really long day because we went out onto Costa Maya for a while. Yeah. Then we came back on the ship. We were at the pool and we did dinner and we did the fireworks and the show. Right. And then to come back out and see some of the characters. Yeah, that was, cool. was really cool. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Yeah. It is Star Wars Day at Sea. And 
if you've been paying close attention to our videos or Instagram or anything, I have been obsessing over Star Wars lately. And every once in a while, uh, I post a little something about it. So I cannot wait to see what characters come out tomorrow. I yeah. am very excited. It's going to be super exciting. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you've been to Costa Maya before, let us know. Yeah. Uh, maybe next time if we end up back at Costa Maya, maybe we should try something else. I don't know. Yeah. We'll and see y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Yeah, sure. That one. Yeah. <laughs>